try to set straight the finances uh, and get a that everybody's comfortable with the finances in the village and how the village is operating. And tonight, what we're hoping to accomplish is to, to add some clarity to, to how that money was spent over that time period. Um, we, we were asked the question around uh, the possibility of any uh, fraudulent activity and while uh, there's no uh, certainties around uh, that, no 100% certainties around that, I can say that uh, based on the information that we had over the course of the respective audits that we did over these years, nothing had come to our attention that would suggest any sort of uh, illegal activity. Uh, the accusations that were made against me are actually deviated from trying to divert, divert the attention away from the previous years, but I started up with no money here and there's still no money now. That I did not misspend the sixty-seven thousand dollars, and I did not use gas tax funds to misspend that money. Used up. That's what I was asking for an apology from this council, mainly the chair and the vice chair. I come home from Florida, and all H is breaking out on Facebook and social media. And uh, if you need an apology from me for uh, coming here and taking the best interests of the citizens of Mary Harbor and the taxpayers, uh, I would ask you to explain what I've done wrong. We don't have a forensic audit here. I come back and I said, I warned those guys sitting right over here that have been complaining and backbiting each other and not working as a council, okay? That's just the way it is and snipping around behind my back. The motion I made three weeks ago was that we have a forensic external audit done besides Grant Thornton due to the situation and bring somebody in from the outside and settle the situation once. I believe that the money came in, whether there was misaccounting or whatever, it just went on and on and on over the years. Maybe the controls weren't there. Maybe Grant Thornton didn't pick it up. Where the blame should be, the accountant should have picked some stuff up. And I was informed this afternoon about that. And uh, the accountant is charging us money, and they shouldn't be charging us anything, really. They should be, they should be paying us to get us out of this mess, okay? It's not Joan Young's fault. And it's not a lot of other people's fault. I can on, they can only audit what they've been given, but if they just rubber stamped each year, and we pay fourteen thousand dollars a year for this little village, fourteen thousand hard-earned dollars from taxpayers. I'd like to personally apologize to Grant Thornton. That did not come from all the council at all, and I apologize for those statements made to you. And Joan, I am sorry you got involved in all this but I'll say it to you myself. I don't need someone else to say it. I don't have the whole QuickBooks in my head. I don't. Come and see me. Don't throw me things at during meetings. Come and see me. You know, I don't carry the invoices in my pockets, and I don't have a full computer spreadsheet in my head. We were missing, well, I had, I had to reimburse 38, and there was a 29,000, so uh, 58, yeah, that comes up to 67. The, Thing is, I see the money when it comes in, and I see it when it goes out. The receipts, I'm unable to find them. I got everything. They are put in 12 different expense accounts, scattered across the whole QuickBooks. I find the invoices, and oh, I've got them. Out. And I produced $143,000. If you're glitching on $14,000, I'm sorry, but look, I had to reimburse $38,000, that's the bottom line. I was instructed that we were short on our reporting of gas tax. I took money from the sewage, put it in the GIC after consideration by council and after recommendation by the accountants. That's all. Who cares what did what with whatever? Everybody took this and run.